Big shout out to EA and the EA Creator Network for sponsoring this video and allowing me early access to this content so I can capture it for all of you. I hope you all enjoy it. Let's get into it. Ranking and activating the best offensive X Factors in all of Madden 23. First off at number five, we have Gambit with an honorable mention of Dots. So let's start with Dots and explain why it's not number five. So Dots is actually a new X Factor this year that allows you to throw every pass accurately when in the zone. However, it does not counter the penalty that comes with scrambling and trying to throw across your body. And I feel like all other passes are thrown accurate enough the majority of the time that made this not worthy of number five. Just a quick note that some of the footage you're gonna see is from a pre-launch build of the game. Please enjoy the video. So our actual number five is Gambit, which no regular teams player actually has. And what it does is give you faster passes that can't be picked off by the AI. So essentially like Gunslinger, but if they don't click on, they can't pick the ball off. Now the way that you activate it is by completing five consecutive passes when the ball travels at least five yards through the air. And that means you can't throw the ball one yard down the field and then run for five more for a six yard gain. It has to actually travel through the air for five yards down the field. So here are some examples of some passes you might be looking to complete when trying to activate Gambit. I won't show all five, but I'll show four of them here. And basically you're just looking for intermediate passes that are gonna make sure to travel at least five yards or more through the air, but not necessarily throwing the ball deep because it's sometimes hard to get that amount of time in this game with the way the pass rush and blitzes work. So I showed a tight end wheel route, a deep out route, there was a mini crosser there. And then here's this C route. And now the next clip's gonna be Gambit. We are good to go. We've got Gambit and we're going deep, come on. We got Tyreek, we got Tyreek. With the zip, the zip on that pass. Wow, let's go, come on, let's go. Moving on to number four, we have Blitz Radar. And what that does is highlight the extra blitzing linebackers and defensive backs that your opponent's sending, which can be super powerful because it can help you decide what you want to do for your play call. And it probably would be ranked higher, but it's really hard to activate because you have to get five scrambles of 10 yards or more. And especially this year with how the pass rush and blitzing is, that can be difficult. Also note that quarterback design runs don't count. Here's a couple of clips of Lamar Jackson scrambling. I'm not gonna show all five, but I did wanna show a couple. And I wanted to note that if you're trying to activate this X Factor, your best option is likely scrambling up the middle with how the edge rush and the contains and the blitz has worked this year. Your best option for success is likely running up the middle. We have blitz radar. We can see two players are blitzing on the left and we're gonna throw right where they're blitzing from. We're throwing this tight end wheel route. Come on, baby, come on. Got it, catch it, nice, let's go. I love this ability. If you ever can activate this X Factor, it's super, super good. It's just tough to activate. Next up at number three, we have Double Me. So what that does is give you a better success rate at aggressive catching when in single coverage. So if there's not a second defender near you, you're probably gonna catch it, but it's not a guarantee. It's not gonna catch every time, so that's why it's not higher. It is, however, definitely doable to activate Double Me because you only need three catches of 20 plus yards. And attacking the sidelines is a great way to pick up those 20 yard catches. It's not the only way, but it's the way I really like right now, especially with corner routes. That's probably one of my favorite routes in the game, but it's not the only way to attack the sidelines against zone. If they're in a cover two, you can run a fade smash concept like you see here, or if they have hard flats out there, you can maybe throw this fade on the sideline against cover two. There's definitely different ways to go at it, but if you get those 20 yard catches, you can get double me. Let's go. We got double me, baby. And it looks like he's in. He's in a cover one. Throwing it up. Go get it, Mike. Go get it, Mike Evans. Come on. Finally, at number two, we have Freight Train. And what that does is give you a great chance of breaking the next tackle. And in my experience, they pretty much always break the first tackle, which is great because it really makes it tough to knock them out of the zone once you actually get Freight Train activated because the way that you lose it is by losing yards. So if you're breaking a first tackle, you're probably gonna gain some yards. Now, the way that you activate it is by getting five runs of 10 plus yards, which may seem like a lot, but over the course of a game, if you run the ball a decent bit, you likely have a decent chance of doing that. Especially when you have a really good running back like Henry, who's gonna be able to make some plays for you without you even really doing anything with his speed, with his strength. And my best recommendation for allowing him to make those plays is with outside runs. It gives him space to use his speed and then he can truck some people in the open field. But you saw two runs there, one before it. So I don't want to show all five. We now have Freight Train. We've got Freight Train. Let's go, Derrick Henry. We're trucking everybody. We're trucking everybody. We're trucking everybody. We're trucking everybody, Derrick Henry. Truck him too. Truck him too, Henry. Ah. I thought I'd give you this bonus clip of Derrick Henry still activated because I thought it was an awesome clip. He gets a great truck and then he drags like three players for a couple extra yards, but... 
That's Freight Train. Now for our final X Factor. And lastly, the best offensive X Factor. In fact, the one that I think is the best X Factor in the entire game, we have Omaha. And it is a complete game changer when you have it activated. No one has it in regs, but in Ultimate Team, it's going to show all of the defensive coverage adjustments on all of your opponent's DBs. So if they have eight DBs out there, like they're in a dollar set, or a dime set you're going to see eight different coverage adjustments out there and that can help you to tweak your play to whatever you want to do to combat what they have now it is difficult to activate it's similar to gambit with those five plus yards through the air where the ball actually has to travel through the air five or more yards but it's actually gonna be six consecutive passes this time so it is difficult to activate and deservedly so because it is that much of a game changer which is why it's still number one so here's a couple of those five plus yards through the air passes i already showed several during the gambit segment so i don't want to show too many here so there's a post route and here's a tight end wheel where we actually get a touchdown on it and now we have omaha we've got omaha we can see he's in a cover two he's mabel to the right and we're going deep come on baby we need time we got the streak we got it we got it we got it let's go omaha is the best x factor in the game if you enjoyed this video please check out this video here where we played mud against the pro